Okay, so in the last lesson, we um, we just built up our main, well, what we'd like to do. So this is everything main wants to do. Now, obviously, we have a problem here because we haven't created this new class, this uh, Monte Carlo engine. So let's let's go ahead and create that Monte Carlo engine now. Um, I need a new a new file. Um, it's going to be a new class. Call it BSM. Okay, don't need uh, any of that. Let's just do the header file. We'll do this um, class file in the next lesson. Let's just get this header file sorted out. So let's uh, let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so don't need all of that stuff there. Include our stream, yeah, of course. So. Give it the class name, class BSM, Black Shoals Merton. Let's put our public stuff in. So what we need is we need, what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you notice, actually, I didn't do something right on the first program. The number of steps is never going to be a float. And the number of simulations is never going to be a float, so they really ought to be longs rather than floats. So let's change that to atoll rather than atoff. So a tring to a float is atoff. A tring to a long is uh, that, because steps and simulations is always going to be a counting number. So that's good. So how many? Things we need one, two, seven. There we are, seven. Last two are longs, first five are floats. So, float, two, three, four, five, and two longs. Let's put the destructor in for fun. Don't really desperately need it, but. You never know, you might want to put something in there. Um, now, the main things we need, I'm not going to do setters in this one. I think, I think we'll just do getters. So we need, where's my main program? We need to, we need these seven methods here, don't we? So we need these getter methods. So let's just copy them them in here so first five are going to be floats and the next two will be longs to get rid of all this junk You just talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Watch a George Carlin HBO routine. La da dee, la da da. Meanwhile, back in the land of fun. Oh, too far there. There we go. And semicolon on the end of there. And then only these two don't have to be declared what they are, remember? special because they're special so a float for that one and that one two three four five and then these two are longs okay so we've got that Everything's looking so good so far. What else do we need from the main program? We need um, a log normal random walk. That's just going to be an execution engine. That's not going to return anything or take anything. It's just going to work on what it's already got and then just set some things inside the program. It's kind of going to be like a 
like a kind of little fire inside our car. Um, it's going to prime everything. So we need that, and we need these two as well, don't we? So let's just set those up. So that's going to be a uh, void. And these two are going to return doubles, I think. So could get complicated those call prices. Then that's going to return a double as well. Then I think we've got everything we need there. Now there is um if any of you used Excel, you'll know in Excel there's a special function called RAND. And what it does is returns a number um, from anywhere between 0 up to, but not including, 1. Now, there's no such similar function inside C++ until we get to templates. Now, we haven't got to templates yet, so I'm going to use a very simple version of RAND, which comes free with C++ without having to use templates or anything. Um, never ever use this in the real world, otherwise <laughs> you'll be taken out and uh, made to smoke a last cigarette against a wall. But uh, I'm going to use um, a, an inbuilt function called RAND, but it's, it's not as easy as you might think, so I'm going to have to build my own little function. So I'm going to build my own little function, I'm going to call it RM, and it's going to basically be a mimic of the RAND inside Excel, which produces a number between 0 up to, but not including 1. So we need to just generate our own little function there. Now we need some variables, of course. Um, so we need some private variables. Uh, we're going to need one for each of these things here. So I'll just type these out as quick as I can. So the first one I'm going to call BSM Asset. The second one I'm going to call BSM Strike for the strike price of the option. The third one I'm going to call BMS Growth. About the Black Shoals Merton Growth. Can't spell today. Fourth one is going to be called um, BSM Vol. Then we're going to need the expiry time of the option in years and we're going to need those two longs as well aren't we so we're going to need uh, what are we going to need as well so we're going to need the long for the bsm steps and we're going to need a oh, lont a lont and we're going to need a long for the bsm um, Monte Carlo Sims, the number of simulations we're going to run. So I just need to line all these up. There we are, I think we're cooking. Uh, a couple of other things we need. We just need, a, the whole point of this is that we need Call prices and put price for our option. I don't know why they keep going to the left. It's a bit odd. I think we've got everything we need. If we do need anything else, we can come back to it. So we've now got our main program cooking. So that's all looking good. Oh, is that not working? I don't seem to get call price. That looks all right, but that doesn't look all right. What's that? Get call price. Let's have a look. Is it the right name? That looks all right. Let's go back again. Well, nothing's going to work properly, is it? Because um, we haven't got the main class program yet. Well come back to that error uh, when once we get onto the next class program in the next lesson.
lesson to see if we can uh, sort that one out. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Let's get on to the main class program in the next lesson.